Let's talk about this game with the Eagles. What we are hearing is, first of all, let's let's actually go back. Before I get into what yeah. we're hearing, let me lay out the whole offseason and, and what went into that. The 49ers lose to the Eagles. Brock Purdy gets injured. They obviously go to Johnson, who also gets injured. We know the, the history there. 49er fans believe, hey, if Brock Purdy plays, we win that game. Okay, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But but the players really believe, hey, if Brock was in there, we win that game. If we have a healthy quarterback, we win that game. We want our get back. So much so that for the next couple weeks through the Super Bowl, they were talking about it into the offseason. Guys like De mainly Debo. Debo is like the head of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Then you get right, I think it was right before the season or, or right as the season started, he goes on a radio show. He's promoting whatever his, his product is that he's promoting. And the host ends up being an Eagles fan and starts asking him about the Eagles and d does he still feel as cocky as he did then and all these things. And Debo gets very frustrated with the conversation. D I mean, deservedly so. I, I understood why he was frustrated with it. The guy asked the question multiple times. Debo was like, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to talk about that, but he kept poking and poking and eventually Debo got off the phone. His publicist took the phone and he hung up. That was it. Yeah. Now we are here. We are in e Eagles week. Hassan mm -hmm. Reddick comes out and says, hey, you guys think you were the better team. Come to the link and prove it because I think you guys were crying. That's what I think. You guys were boohooing all off season. Now you got a chance to prove it. Come shut Talk our mouth. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap, right? Yep. Debo, Ayuk, and Trent Williams are all asked about it, and all of them act as if nothing ever happened in the off season, as if nothing was ever said from the 49ers side of the house or the Eagles side of the house that this is just a normal everyday game. game. It's it's this game is no different than when they played. The Bengals in week eight. It's yeah. just another game. Mm. Do you believe that that's the mentality inside the locker room? Or is that just something that they're trying to portray outwardly? Hell no. I don't believe that. Excuse my language. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. That's me so, neither. That's so BS, man. What, what it sounds like to me is either PR or Kyle Shannon or somebody got to him and said, hey, let's, let's just treat this as another game. Let's not respond. Let's not talk. That talk, right? Because they're all on the same page with the message. But do I believe that they believe that they think it's just another game? Absolutely not. There's so much riding on this game. For one, it's all about the seeding for the playoffs. Two, it's for the history that you just laid out. I mean, this is the game that knocked Brock Purdy out and put him in the surgery room. That only, it could have ended really badly for Brock Purdy, right? Are you telling me that Brock Purdy's not looking at this? Like, come on now. He's under center looking at. Uh, Hassan Reddick, the guy who injured his elbow, and he and Debo's thinking about all the words that were said uh, about him and this team, and Trent Williams after throwing the guy down and getting, you know, a, a personal foul at the end of the game. Come on, absolutely not. They're going into Philadelphia. This is one hundred percent a revenge game for these 49ers, whether they tell you that or not. I promise you, they want this game more than any game this year. Yeah, I, I don't mind the approach. Uh, whether they Smart. talk or they, they don't, the game's going to be played. I don't mind the approach either way, but yeah. I don't buy it at all. I absolutely don't buy it. Because even in a slight moment, Debo said, oh, I'm not taking anything back. And Ayuk said, I'm not taking anything back. So they meant what they said. Debo especially, I think this is a game that Debo has to play very, very well. Not only for them to win, but because of everything he said, the way that he talked about Bradbury. I mean, he made it sound like Bradbury doesn't even belong in the league, the way he talked about him. Yeah. So yeah. he better come through and play well. Win or lose, if Debo doesn't play well, Debo, come on, man. This is your game. You are, you've been waiting for this all season long. I expect that Debo plays very well. I think that he's one of those guys that just backs up what he says. The way that that he has against the Rams for all these years, I think now the Eagles are are also that team where they play, whether it's it's every other year, every four years, whatever, 
every time Debo sees the Eagles, he's going to be turned up for that game because of what happened last year. And I, I also agree. One guy who hasn't said anything is Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy has an axe to grind. Brock Purdy feels in his heart, I'm sure, that if he was there, that they win that game. And Brock Purdy has now heard the first shot fired from the same man that injured him last year. Yeah, this may, this game means a lot to Brock Purdy as well. It absolutely does. Yeah, these are human beings. I like that they're trying to stay focused. And sure. the, me- the message that was, you know, conveyed to them, obviously, by somebody within the organization is don't don't get into the talk. Let's focus on the game. It's just another game. And that's the mentality they're trying to have. The reality is that's not that's not the case for for any of these guys. They want to go out there and prove that they're the king of the NFC right now. They the, the real the real is the reality is the Eagles are the king of the NFC based on what happened last year and their record this year. So the 49ers want to prove that it's them that deserve to be the king of the NFC, and they got to do it this Sunday uh, because talk is cheap. And and now don't get it twisted. Now the Eagles complained and whined and cried a lot about the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, so they're just as guilty as that um, as the Niners were after that NFC Championship game. Um, but right now, it's it, this is the week, man. Can't wait for this game because on Sunday the words don't matter anymore. And I guarantee you, this game's going to be chippy. Now, if this game's chippy, that also tells you that the message they're giving out right now is BS. Because if it's chippy from the get go. That means it's personal for these guys. And I said, I expect it will be. I love that it is. I want it to be. I don't, (laughs) to me, that makes this game more fun when I know that the, I was having this conversation with, with coach. We, we talk pretty frequently. We were having this conversation yesterday. The NFL with the 17th week at times is starting to feel a little bit NBA ish or mlb ish where certain games may not mean as much mm-hmm. to really really good teams so once you start to figure out the landscape of the league week five week six you start to see that some of these teams maybe aren't giving everything week in and week out or at least that's the perception that that we took away when you have a game like this on the schedule at this time this game means not only so much for seeding uh, placement in the NFC, home field advantage, all those things. Those things matter. You're going to get up for a game like that no matter what. But when you add in the element that this team, one team beat the other one in this same field to go to the Super Bowl in the way that it ended, oh, I love it. This this is must-watch TV. And the fact that it's not a primetime game is an absolute shame on the NFL. Th- I'm pretty sure they can... F- I know they can flex games into Sunday night. I think starting last week, they had changed a rule going into this year and starting last week, they could flex games into Monday night. How this game isn't getting flexed into a primetime game is beyond me at this point. Here's a better question. Why does it even, why does it even have to be flexed? Why is it, why wasn't it scheduled as a primetime game? Exactly. 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 I don't, they missed the ball on this one. They missed the ball on, on this one. Huge. GTC Real says no Eagles linebacker can keep up with 85 or 23. Uh, not many linebackers in the league can do this. GTC Reels, and that's the way that Shanahan has built this roster. He did it from the very beginning. Going in, getting use check and drafting Kittle, it was clear that the way Shanahan views the league is there are not many good linebackers and not many good linebacker tandems, and he's right about that. Mm -hmm. that that is how he looks to attack. And he's done so with Jimmy Garoppolo, with Brock Purdy, with everybody he's had attacking the middle of the field where linebackers are with guys like 85 and 23 and 44 and and whoever. So yes, absolutely. I agree with this. They don't have those linebackers whatsoever. Justin says, we actually ran to the right last week. Can we keep it going? And will uh we'll spend we stay in the backup role uh oh oh, oh, oh spencer stay in a backup role okay okay sorry i had to piece that one together uh oh man he should he, he should. should yeah i don't know that he will i have a feeling they'll do the rotation thing because they're trying to develop him i i guess but in this I, game especially like let burford get another week let him, let him take a week off, another week off, 
leave Felicio on, Feliciano in there. This game especially, they need him. In. They're playing around too much, and when it comes to this season, right? You're either all in or you're not. So, are you are you focused on developing Burford for the future, or are you focused on winning a Super Bowl this year? If you're focused on winning a Super Bowl this year, Feliciano is your guy. Zero question. Yeah. yeah. 